me a new shave, because we're all about the puns here. The Grimsman, at least I am. Got some new stuff to use today. Um, this is a razor I haven't used before. This is the Henson Medium. I am going to be doing a comparison video between this and my own Plus Plus later this week, hopefully. So stay tuned for that, but that is not today. I have not used this yet, and I felt like I'm doing a New Year's shave, going for new stuff I haven't used yet. So speaking of that, finally gonna try the, ooh, still in the slippery in the plastic here, the Rapira Platinum Lux. Uh, people love these, haven't used it yet. Have a theory platinum doesn't work for my skin. Let's find out today. So I got those for the hardware. Finishing up the hardware. Have my brand new AKA Brushworks 26 um, mil uh, millimeter uh, P Peacock. That was horribly done. I knew all that information. I just couldn't decide what words to use. So if you can see this, I'll put a video of it by itself, but uh, you can see it's got the AKA Brushworks with an X coin there. These folks are out of Claire, Michigan. So about halfway between me and the razor company, where I got it from. Um, and they're in the middle. I don't say they're halfway, but so it's a really nice presentation though. I've already repurposed the box, but I'll show you. So this is the AKA Brushworks box. It comes in a nice little box. It has a label right there, obviously. And inside another little personal touch. They have their card here, AKA Brushworks. It says, AKA Brushworks 26 millimeter Peacock, your next S of the D has arrived. And then has a little thank you for supporting my small business. One of a kind, handmade, and custom orders available. And I might be hooking that up later on. Uh, you can get them on their Etsy page, which I'll make sure to link here. And exclusively, they make pre-made brushes for the Razor Company. And I also, just based on the specs and everything, hypothesize that they, they may make the, the brushes for the Razor Company, which may be common knowledge that I'm not aware of but just from looking at it, it looks like they do. And then for the software today, I'm um, gonna be using First Line Shaves Crossroads. So that is what they're doing. The scent is done by uh, Black Mountain. That's very, very glary right there, sorry people. By Black Mountain Shave. And the uh, um, base is the V3 base from First Line Shave, which is a favorite of Faya's, which is actually who gave this to me because I had a really hard time walking out of the Razor Company over the summer with my Henson Plus 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 and not this set. He sent me, no, oh, that's not it. It's up here. The splash is up here, tipped over. But he sent me the splash and the soap as a Christmas present. He's only used it maybe once, it looks like. I'm gonna use it for the first time today. So I got a new brush, new razor, new blade, new soap. Same old bowl. I do have a bowl on the way. Uh, that'll be featured later on um, and we'll go from there. So I'm gonna go get ready and I'll be back when it's time. G5 C or GC5, you know me, I'll correct myself as I go along here. Synthetic head. Lots of backbone. Once I got it going in the in the bowl, I figured out what we were doing. Pretty good. Very soft. You can tell that right out of the box. I know they're also offering a two band Dillboy Badger fan that I'm definitely gonna have to probably check out this year. Birthday is coming up in a few months, we'll see. Maybe I'll treat myself to the custom shop. Who knows? Yeah, anyways. So you may have seen footage of the setup. I noticed after the fact that it was all sideways, AKA, no pun intended, everything went a little pear-shaped apparently. I didn't realize it, but classic me to have done that and not realize it, right? So we'll see, but it's just less video for you to have to watch, right? Maybe I'll see if I can salvage that for some sort of reel or short 
There we go. This is a top five base, the version three of the first line shave for Fias. It may be the first time I'm using the V3, I'm not sure. I've had samples, but they didn't say, and I don't think anybody would know at this point, but really into the scent. One of my favorite soaps, both base-wise and scent-wise these days, and has been for a while, is Pisca from Murphy and McNeil, which is also a custom scent by uh, Black Mountain Shaving. So uh, I'm not gonna talk about this, the scent notes or anything right now. There is a video that Fies did up using this that I'll link here to make sure that you guys can get all that if you want, but I'm just gonna focus on what I'm doing right now. Don't need me. This is taking long enough and I feel bad for my wife. So, all right. So I'm gonna get this going right here. Going, apparently starting with against the grain because I'm crazy. So again, this is the Henson plus plus or medium aggression AL15. I can never remember, I have bad memory. I can remember obscure details people tell me, but I can't remember the name of a razor model for more than three seconds. It shaves, either way. So I have the plus plus plus, which is their aggressive model that you can only get currently as of the end of 2022, beginning of 2023 from third party vendors. I got mine from the Razor Company. You can get them from just about any, I would say any third party vendor that sells Henson will probably have the plus 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 in stock at some point. So pick your poison, pick your favorite. I actually got to go pick mine up in person and be in the storefront for the Razor Company when I got it. Again, which is where I saw this um, set and had a really hard time being like, I can't splurge on that right now. But Fly has heard me talk about it off and on for months and decided to try it. And it wasn't his cup of tea. But it being, uh, it's supposed to be like a, I think it's like a spring, spring based scent. That's what the crossroads is, like the season's changing. And I say, Adam, it's January 1st. Yeah, but if you look outside, there's a lot of grass right now because all that snow we got for this blizzard melted. I got squirrels in my yard again that I didn't think I was going to see for another few months. So, but so it's kind of springish today. It's like 40 degrees, which, believe it or not, is kind of a balmy spring day in northern Michigan. So, It's, it's eliminating stuff. Still haven't found that magical one pass razor for my face yet. It's nice to be using one razor instead of two or three for a change in a video. If you haven't seen those yet, they're coming. Although I am kind of looking forward to doing the the uh, comparison shade between this and the plus plus plus. Getting a little pullback on this one. I don't know if it's the amount of growth I have of hair or if it's the smaller blade gap here. Not to say that I don't get any pull from using the plus 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 because you're gonna get that. God, you guys gotta come up with better names. I'm sick of saying that. Um, I do get pull there depending on the growth a little bit. I feel like this soap base is plenty slick. I almost feel like having a more cushiony soap with the Henson is a disservice. It needs slick. Cause you're not getting that huge blade gap shave that you might be getting from other razors where you want that cushion as much. I feel like that's almost a detriment to how this works. So slicker is better with Henson in my opinion. It's great with creams.
Yeah, I, I definitely feel like there's a difference between the performance, and I can't tell you exactly what that is until I get the other one in here, but. Definitely glad I got plus, plus, plus. When I did. And this is obviously, uh, you can see the corners are, this is the newest, the latest model. Again, as of early 2023 of the Henson AL-15. Absolutely overwhelmed with Christmas stuff right now. So I got my new Carhartt hat. I got a really nice Levi's denim triple line jacket. Look at these are all stuff on my list. Um, the nicest thing now, and this is coming up soon, as soon as my new bowl comes in, I think one of the nicest things I got, my mother actually had, sorry about the back of my head there, had a, a local soap maker. Uh, she had them make me custom shape soap pucks that are uh, the person's first attempt at it. My mother actually had to buy like, the mold and everything to to make it. And she came up with a, with the scents for it, which I'll talk about when I get to use it. But I'm waiting for my new bowl that's more puck friendly to come in before I get too ahead of those. Plus they had it here for another week, which is about now, but the bowl should be here early next week. So I'll be able to get it in and use my lovely new brush and we'll go from there. So give me a second to rinse off and we'll come back. So about this brush real quick, so Peacock. So I was looking at these Christmas weekend and had decided when I, I knew I was gonna get some amount of Christmas money that I wanted to go with something, AKA. And the Peacock just felt right. I mean, look at me. I'm the Peacock of the Grimsman for sure. You know, the male bird's always one with the plumage. My wife just wakes up beautiful. I gotta put some effort into it. So I'm a Peacock, what can I say? Alright. Stir some more of this soap up in here and get it on there. Really like this brush so far. That weight, just before I even, you know, did anything with the bristles or broke any soap or any soap, lathered any soap. I really like the weight. This is the first brush I've had with a coin. I was looking a little bit at Grizzly Bay and um Chisel and Hound, but I knew they didn't have their the Fanchurian knots in any time right now, and I knew that I would burn this money on something else, so I decided to look at getting a new kind of custom, not custom, but American-made synth brush, and I'm glad I got this one. I love it. It looks even better. It looks amazing in person, so if it, for as good as it looks potentially on video, it looks even better in person. It's a gorgeous brush. So as far as the Henson medium, I'm gonna call it, um, very comfortable shave, just as comfortable to me so far as the aggress aggressive is, but the proof will be in how it goes there. Now I know Jonathan basically, he's probably already said it, but I'm gonna quote him anyways. He thinks that the best razor you can get someone coming from cartridges or a beginner even, right now is the current version of the Henson Medium because it, it does a good enough job. It's not like it's too mild, it's not too aggressive, and it um, is lightweight, so it'll be easier, especially for people coming from cartridges. I agreed with that in my video that I did about your next best razor or whatever when I compared this to the America razor, which are same price, but different materials and everything else. So um, yeah, I think he, gave his medium to his brother. So I'm taking advantage of having my own aggressive and the medium by doing that video. This is Scott's. Slightly tuggy on the, against the grain. I'm not gonna go too hard right there cause I'm still getting over some irritation. Had a really rough shave with a vintage razor recently. I'm a modern guy, I'm sorry, Scott. 
You're on an island, friend. Hopefully all of you guys can't hear his Pokemon. I saw him kind of rambling through this to kind of block out the potential that YouTube's going to flag this video for copyright problems. I turned it down as low as the boys would allow it to be. But you can really fly with a Henson when you're ready. I expected my dad was gonna like it more than he did. He didn't really like it. And it's weird that I do. I never really shaved with the cartridge. I was always electric before I got into DE shaving. I was morally opposed to all the plastic use. And, uh, with like the current Gillette's and shake and everything. It seemed like a racket, so you know, I went like out like a nice mid level brawn, and I just never really got a clean shave or comfortable without getting irritation. Actually, Matt from um, Shaving the Day. I posted in the group and it was funny because I had just had these same thoughts uh, the other day that uh, it's kind of a curse to have the sensitive skin and the coarse beard because he's talking about how he always physically has razor bumps. And I, they're they're going to be here, but they're going to be there no matter what I shave with. The only way to avoid having them is going to be for me to, to grow a beard back, which I don't want to do right now. But yeah, you can't get the, you can't really chase the BBS. Because one, you rarely get it. We'll flip. And two, it's like Icarus, you know, you get too close to the sun. So the smoother the shave you go for a lot of times, the more irritation you're going to get. And then and what's worse, having kind of a shit shave or, and looking like it or looking like a smooth, bumpy skin. I don't know. Planning on getting some. That's actually my children YouTube yelling that, not not the show. That's Jordan, the two-year-old. Finally over his double ear infection and influenza B. No more antibiotic shots since oral antibiotics are not working. Yay. He was pretty excited about that today. Gonna do one more little spot under my chin. So, get this lathered up and right back for that. Let's get this taken care of real quick. I'm gonna show you the post today because I am using the FLS Splash for the first time. Do a little sack face here. Yeah, I, I'm gonna throw my neck out, bro. I don't know how you do that. Love it. Super glad I bought this. No regrets. It's beautiful. It's comfortable. It's only getting better as it breaks in, I bet. Um, and I'm excited to use it again. Good razor. Good shave. I think if I were to use this every day with the Grush that it's at, I'd be happy. But I like the plus, 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 and I'm looking forward to their battle. Looks like Jordan just got yanked. Forgot I used up my fares, so I'm pulling out the travel one, which is rose water, so. Forgot about that, that's why I got relegated to the travel kit. Let that sit for a minute here. All right, yeah, so. AKA. Brush works, good to go, excited about that. Definitely wanna give the 
customer shop and um, Badger Knots ago. God, I love supporting Michigan artisans, obviously. Um, I did reach out to them on Instagram. Talk to them, they're very nice. They responded to me. They responded to me on New Year's Eve. I'm being a dick and messaging them after they respond to my story on Instagram. So, you know, nice people putting up with me on a holiday. So this comes in blue and green. I got green, which I wouldn't have cared, honestly. I think it's trying to look at the draw. You might be able to request it when you order it, but it doesn't, there's no difference between the blue and the green or blue and the color. Hmm. Not earthier off the, there it is. You can never, it's tough because sometimes you buy these soaps and we go off of the scent there and you have to remember that the scent can only do so much as a soap. It can't <coughs> do as much as a splash or a EDP can do, nor should it. It's kind of just that one scent. It doesn't change over time or anything. But this is nice. I like it. I can see why Fayez wouldn't like it though. I think it's a little too bright for him. There's just like a hint of darkness under there, but mostly it's bright boy scent all right okay well i believe my next video is going to be the the battle between the henson medium plus plus and the aggressive plus 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 can't wait to say that more in another video but hopefully that'll be uh the first video to feature my new shape bowl and my custom uh shape soap that i got for christmas from my mother which was really sweet She's been like, yeah, you can, you know, go ahead and use it on, like, your thing or whatever on YouTube. So, yeah. I think my New Year's resolution is to be more open in my personal life about that I am on YouTube now. You know, we have well over 500 subs now. This is this is happening. And I kind of treat it like it's my dirty little secret. As opposed to kind of being open about it. Like, I'm not going to be ad nauseum about it or anything, but I'm, I might actually put a post and be like, hey, I'm a YouTuber. So if you want to support my channel or watch my content with my guys, this is it, so. All right, guys, well, as always, we're gonna call it a shave. We appreciate you stopping by, and I'll catch you next time. Well, this is a postscript, but I forgot to talk about the, the Repair Platinum Lux. So, so far, so good. I normally, in my few experiences with platinum coated blades will experience irritation later on so i guess i'll let you guys know if i do and i'll never use a platinum blade ever again super weird i know right but you should be the only guy that can't use a platinum blade but everyone is supposed to dig platinum because no one's allergic to it and i'd be the guy that would who knows people who knows